Hi, I'm Teresa from Heal the Souls, a mobile foot care business. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, what I do during my basic uh, foot care that I do as a domiciliary. Today I've got a 55 year old foot here who I saw six weeks ago and as you can see the nails have grown quite a lot there. Okay, so we do need to do some basic cutting. Uh, everywhere else looks pretty good. Not too much callus on the planter, which I'm pleased to note. So, as you can see here, the patient has, in the last six weeks, stubbed his toe on something within the house and what this has done this has caused a bleed under the nail bed now it's not an issue it's something that will just grow out um, if it caused a real issue then obviously you'd need to deal with that but the patient has told me that there's no problem there so we're going to leave it like that what I might just do so it's not so prominent is I might just go over the surface of the nail on the hallux toe um, just to make it less prominent. So we'll start with the procedure. What we need to do to start with is we have a debris tray and our debris tray goes underneath the foot here and catches everything in the tray. What I normally do is on top of the tray I put a disposable towel and that is just obviously for health and hygiene. So that will go over the tray like so. And if I can ask my patient just to slightly lift their feet, lovely, and just place it like that. And if he nods if it's comfortable, which he does, lovely. So to start with, Always make sure you hand cleanse your hands before you put your gloves on. Lovely. Gloves are must. They go on before you start doing any sort of treatment. Make sure that you've got the patient's card to hand and at this stage what you would do is you would check whether there had been any changes to their medical history. Always make sure that you would uh, mark down if they're diabetic in red on both sides of the card, very important, and also if there had been any warfarin or blood thinning you have to be very very careful in case you cut them. I have checked that with my patient, there has been no changes. What I do is I put a mask on my face. Now that goes onto my face when I start using any sort of a drill or anything on the foot. And that is obviously because of the dust coming up, obviously I don't want to be breathing that in. So I've checked the foot and I've seen what needs to be done. So, we'll make a start. Spray the patient's foot with a cleanser. It's a little bit cold, sorry. Always try and inform them of that. And just give it a wipe down, make sure that you go between the digits to get anything out. Great. Lovely. So, choose your nippers, clippers, whatever you want to do, appropriate for the particular need. 
and then always start from the fifth digit. Now the fifth digit is here, so you go five, four, three, two, one is your Alex. Okay. What I do at this stage is I use what we call an OptiVisor. Now what this does for me, because I don't because I'm domiciliary and I don't I'm not surgery bound and I don't have a lamp which can microscope and magnify the nails up to the where I need them to be. I use a portable which is called an OptiVisor. And this just slips over my head like so and then I can pull it down and the nails are brought right up for me. So I'll start cutting away. Make sure it's small and straight. Always in a straight line, never curve round. Just like that. And then make sure that your debris goes into the tray. You don't want it going all over the household. Never cut the nails too short. If you do that, you have a problem with ingrowing toenails. And that is something that us foot care practitioners don't like to treat on a regular basis. On to the next nail now. As I say, nice, short, straight across cutting. Just like so. And as you can see, that's come off very well. Make sure you just tidy the ends up there. But you can finally do that with the drill at the end anyway. Because you never leave a patient with sharp edges. Now not all patients toes grow at the same speed. This patient here, as I say, his toenails have grown quite well in the six weeks which gives me a nice job to do, but not everybody's are going to be like that. Now the rule that we use as foot care practitioners is that they say if you can go like that and you can feel a nail, it's too long. It should be flush to the toe. So I can tell straight away that one is fine. That one needs a bit more off. Nice, small, smooth and then it comes off like that. Lovely. Right, so we go on to this one here. Part of the nail's already broken away. So I just take the other part off there. Now the Hallux nails, the large toenails here that I'm, I'm on now, these are always slightly thicker in nail, so they might take a little bit more of a 
tight cut. So take your time on these. I think I will get a different instrument for that one because that one is slightly thicker so I'll get a larger nipper for it. There we go, the final bit of the end here. Wow, now that's one thick nail. Got a bit of where he's banged his toe, we've got a bit of skin here. So just going to trim that away with my nipper very, very carefully. And then clean it up with my drill afterwards. What I might do is I might just, if I can find one here, yep, there it is, use a swan neck just to go underneath by the sulcus here, just to clean up any of this. There we go. Just see if we can get some of this out. See the black coming out there? That's the dried blood underneath the nail bed. Once we've finished with the cutting, obviously then we start to use the drill. So we have to tidy up all of these toes. We can't leave them with jaggy edges. Okay, so so now I have a nail drill. It takes all varying different um, he electric heads. Uh, this one here that I've put on I use for smoothing off my toes. I have a different one that I use for the callus on the feet uh, and then there's various different ones that you can use. Um, I have a set here which uh, if I show you that there for various like for cleaning underneath the nails and stuff like that so right this is where my mask goes on so I might start sounding a bit muffled Make sure that when you're using your drill, that this hand never leaves the foot. You always have to have it on the foot while you're using your drill.
make sure that you feel around before you move on to the next foot that it's nice and smooth with no jagged edges. Right, so what we would normally do when we finish the foot off, I'm going to do the other foot's cutting first, but at the end what I will do is I will make sure that there is uh, an antiseptic powder that's put through the digits, and then I will put a nail oil, a protection nail oil, onto the nails, and then I will choose a cream appropriate to the state of the foot and then just give it a massage at the end. So what I'll do is I'll do the cutting of the next foot first before I go on and do the final bit. So if you help the patient's foot to the floor and ask them to put their other foot up, making sure that it's comfortable for them and that they're not knocking your stool over, like so. Right, so you're continuing over, so you start on the first um, big toe here, and then work your way through with the cutting. Let's hope this one's not as strong as the other one. And no, it wasn't. Just even up the ends. And just the final bit down here. That's it. Nice. Digit number two. Now you should be able to do a proper basic foot care treatment in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Obviously not rushing, taking your time. There are people that can do it a lot quicker than that. Depends on what treatment needs to be done. But at the end of the day, the patient is paying for you for a job to be done. So, 
you know, it's up to up to everybody what they take. bit of a thickened little toe here Right, I think that's the toes done there, so I'll just smooth them off with my drill again. And as I said, make sure that you you do feel around the toe. So that's all the cutting done and I think the feet is actually okay. Uh, I don't think there's any hard skin as such on the plantar, maybe a little bit there. We can do a bit on that. Now there's lots of different different things that you can use on the foot. Sometimes I use the nail drill or sometimes I'll use files, look a bit like cheese graters. Um, and then what you would do is you would just file away like that. So 
So what we do now is we put the healthy foot powder and make sure that it goes between the toes like so. And we have our nail oil, Microcept. I use Microcept on healthy normally and I'll use a Micro Red which is for fungal nails or anything like that. So it's just one drop, make sure you don't put the dropper onto the nail, just drop it onto and rub it in. And then because this patient has pretty healthy bottoms of their foot, the plantar region, we call it in the profession, it's nice and soft, healthy. I will use a cream which is a normal cream for normal or active feet. I use one called Alkaline. I like this particular version of cream it's very very good so this is the part that most patients do like the most There we go, so that's one foot and if we ask the patient to put their other foot up and then we can do the same to this foot. There we go. 
that's my basic foot care package. So I hope you've enjoyed that and if there's anybody out there that would like their toenails trimming, their hard skin removed, if you've got any corns or anything that needs dealing with, any worries, give me a call. My website details are www.healthesouls.co.uk Take care and see you all soon. Bye.